There's another trend now. Started in Europe. Uh, a woman in Spain did it first. Put it on TikTok. She's getting married, so some brides are doing this. They usually wear their hair, hair down, but they're wearing their hair up for the wedding. And so they feel like their ears protrude too much. And they have their makeup artist super glue their ears <laughs> right to their hair. I saw a video of I, it. No, I've seen it too. He's, He's right. right. And they super glue the ears right. right to the... They pin I mean, them back? Yeah. And, like a uh, cocker spaniel? Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. And you can... It's a big difference. You, you can't really see the ears at all straight on. And then they use some sort of solution you know, to make the glue stop binding after the wedding, after the Probably reception. That, uh, na- nail polish remover, right? Yeah, acetate. Exactly, exactly. So they put the acetate on there the next morning or whatever, and then your ears pop back out the way they're supposed to be. Doctors are warning, <laughs> don't glue your yeah, ears yeah. to your head. <laughs> what, if, what if you've done that every single time you've been with your now husband? <laughs> when he finally sees you for the first time, yeah. your ears pop your out. Your ears pop out. <laughs> Tony, you're a mess. <laughs> I can't marry you. It's different about you. Oh, your ears. ears are popped out. Yeah, they're doing it. Well, wasn't That's true. Big, you're more of a NASCAR fan than, than than most of the people in this room. Wasn't a NASCAR driver? Didn't he have his ears? Kurt Busch fixed. Yeah, he had plastic surgery to have his ears. They, they protruded in, sideways. Yeah. They they were they did stick out pretty far. Could really? Get his helmet on. And, yeah. Really? Yeah. Once he he really. <laughs> Was it a helmet issue? Well, when he took it off. <laughs> oh my god! A helmet he's, issue. He's winding you up. He's winding me up issue. again. No, but he did have his ears fixed if you yeah. will did he At, pl- with plastic surgery yeah, yeah. there was and an this ul- is when he was ultra famous yes and uh, he i no regrets i assume to do that so i you, don't think so yeah i mean it's probably been it's mm-hmm. been 10 15 years but so at the time people were like oh man well and the i guess the brides are saying well there's no need to fix it permanently we're okay with it but just for when i don't wear my hair down you know, for the wedding the picture mm-hmm. they glue their head their ears i don't down. know what it is about Aww. weddings mm-hmm. uh, women love to put their hair up, up at a wedding i know i mean my wife does too when even when we're just guests mm-hmm. at a wedding <laughs> yeah and it will be in three pictures you put the it hair doesn't matter, but she wants to wear uh, her hair they, up it looks more i don't know more, more dressy more dressy maybe I, that's what i thought i don't know my my wife put her hair up for the wedding yeah and maybe maybe it's better for the veil and everything i don't know but they do you're right they'll never tell us lee knows something about kurt bush's ears lee go ahead yeah he had him fixed because kevin harvick called him a punk and oh, kevin harvick called him a punk and then what was the last part you faded out on us? Kevin Harvick called him a punk and told him he had big Dumbo ears and started picking on him, and then he had him fixed. Well, them Dumbo ears. That's well, me. You know, that is me. In, in, in the current climate, that's body shaming. That's body shaming in, in a big way. Did you see the other night when the Mets played the Padres in about the sixth inning of that game? The Mets were down four or five runs, and the manager of the Mets – came out or had the umpire check the picture of the Padres for foreign substance because his ears were shining. Yeah. They said his ears were too shiny. He had oil on his ears or Vaseline. They checked him. They felt his ears. They did. They <laughs> it's umpire. a surreal photograph of the umpire. <laughs> Damn. And the pitcher is just staring off into nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's pissed. Yeah. And the umpire is feeling his ears. His ears because they were too shiny. And uh, Just the way the light was shining on him? I mean, they, it's just, he's he had shiny, the same ears he all had shiny, shiny ears. They did look shiny. They did look shiny. But a lot of people said it was Bush League and it was because they were losing. And they, if, you know, his ears were shiny the whole night. Why didn't you check them the first inning? He checked them in the sixth or seventh inning. Well, some people they, said mm. that, and, and you would love this because you're a Yankee hater, but Garrett Cole, for the Yankee starting pitcher, his neck was red. Last night? Yeah, I mean, it was probably cold in New York City. Mm-hmm. You know, probably in the what's he rubbing? 50s. Yeah, what's he rubbing? That's right, and his neck was red. What's he rubbing? I don't know, but that <laughs> That's guy. a different show. They rubbed that guy's <laughs> ears, and he's like, you can find anything on those ears are dry. And they were. They were dry. It's the same ears he's had all year. They didn't shine. And, and all game. They didn't sure. shine them back in July. But if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. He wasn't, baseball. Well, he was not. He didn't have any, nothing on his ears anyway. They proclaimed him clean. They sniff him? <laughs> yeah. Sniffed his ears. <laughs> so he's clean. <laughs> clean ears. James, you're talking about ears now. Brides are gluing their ears to their head. Perfectly normal. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, good morning, guys. P1 calling from Boone this morning. Thank you. Uh, no problem. Uh, so my brother, so I, I have big ears, big ears as well, but my brother... He had big ears, and when he was in the army, he had, he had to get plastic surgery to get his ears sewed back because his helmet was kept sticking out of his helmet, mm-hmm. and it was the cause of causing an issue every time he would go high. That's the first thing was they would see his ears sticking out. Right, that's right. So your ears stick out, <laughs> your helmet don't that's, fit. That's military. You can't go through that. Remember, uh, Bubba Gump had a lip that yeah. uh, Lieutenant Dan said would trip tripwire and kill us all. <laughs> Better tuck that thing in. <laughs> 
stuck your lip in. Thank you, James. Yes, you have to do that. I mean, body shaming be darned. I guess you have to do it. That's just how it's just like when uh, Kevin Harvick called Kurt Busch Dumbo. Mm -hmm. That's just what you go through, I suppose.